In today's video, I will show you a sci-fi time travel film called Edge of Tomorrow. It tells the story of a soldier who repeats his day again and again after touching an alien's blood. What happened to him and how can he get out of this time loop? The film opens with newscasters reporting the invasion of major parts of Europe by aliens known as Mimics. It is believed that they crashed with a meteorite that hit the Earth years ago. They are fierce and dangerous foes to beat. To combat them, the military decides to develop exoskeleton-like equipment for their troops. The Mimics, on the other hand, continue their relentless assault on the military, but one of the military squad leaders, Sergeant Rita, uses her brilliance to help the demoralized and nearly wiped out soldiers secure a significant victory at Verdun, a French city, after taking out many Mimics. Her legendary victory garners her a lot of attention, and she soon catches the attention of the military. One of those tooting her victory is an American military major, Bill Cage. One day, Cage travels to London to see the Commandant of the Western Allied Forces, General Brigham. While Cage believes the General is looking for media attention, he is surprised to hear Brigham say that he will join the Allied powers in their tactical activity in France to cover the battle. Although Cage is a senior officer in the army, he has no combat skills or experience in dreads going on this mission which is really suicidal anyways. He plays a blackmail card against the general and leaves his office. As he steps out, Brigham orders the soldiers around to arrest him. Cage is stunned and attempts to get away, yet he is fired with a taser firearm. The following day, he awakens at Heathrow Airport, which is currently an army installation. A sergeant pushes his combat boots at him, calling him a slimy parasite. The Master Sergeant Farrell comes towards him for a proper introduction to the squad and Cage who is oblivious to his plight attempts to inform Farrell that he is a senior army officer. Unfortunately, the General has left no stone unturned as he has informed Farrell that Cage is a deserter, so he must be taken to the battlefront. Farrell then takes Cage to his unit, a group that calls themselves the J-Squad. Farrell walks in on them and despite their efforts to conceal their betting game, he sees the cards and orders them to eat the cards. As they chew on their distasteful pieces of cards, Farrell informs them that Cage is now part of the team as such they are expected to look after him. The team soon gets into their exoskeletons in preparation for their next mission. Cage is hopeless and confounded. He grumbles that his inexperience could turn out to be fatal but none of the soldiers give really care about his dilemma. Cage is so inexperienced in combat that he doesn't even know how to take his weapon off its safety mode, let alone use it. The J-Squad marches to their plane. Cage, however, attempts to flee and is restrained on the plane. At the point when they start to move toward where they need to land, they are abruptly hit by their extraterrestrial enemies, the shots split the plane in two. A good number of the soldiers tumble off the plane without parachutes. He lands near a beach, and his lack of experience is obvious. He runs around without any clue how to handle their enemies, his fellow soldiers are also hacked down by the brutal aliens. When he tries to use his gun, he is delayed by the language settings and becomes stranded. He turns around and sees Rita boldly battling and obliterating the mimics. Sadly, a blast goes off that takes her life. Cage finally gets his gun to work and takes out a mimic. A bigger one shows up and charges at him and Cage realizes that his end is close. He finds a mine nearby and as the colossal mimic pounces on him, he detonates the mine, fatally injuring himself but destroying the mimic in the process. The creature spills its blood on Cage as his life comes to an end. Or does it? Because Cage soon wakes up again on luggage where he was earlier. He is shocked as the day plays out without any difference up until battle. This time, however, he saves Rita from the blast that took her life in the previous encounter but ends up fatally injured. While Rita is grateful to Cage for saving her life, his arms and exoskeleton batteries must not go to waste so she takes them and pretty much allows him to meet his end. In his injured state, the mimics come for him and obviously finish him off. He awakens again on the gear packs and the day starts to replay once again. This time he attempts to inform Farrell what he knows concerning their military operations however nobody bothers to listen to him given his inexperience. When he persists, they are left with no option but to duct tap him on the plane. Again, he meets his end and returns to the military base. In one of the time experiences, he saves Rita and she now realizes that he is caught in a time loop. She advises him to search for her whenever he awakens. Soon after that, they are both bombarded. This time when he wakes up, he remains calm and finds a way to escape from the base. During a drill, he slips underneath a car, thankfully he is not crushed like the previous times and tracks down Rita. Here he tells her what has been going on. 
Interestingly, she believes him. She lets Cage know that she was also caught in a time loop like him some time ago. However, she lost the ability to return from death after something happened to her. It is revealed that when he blew up the Mimic in his first encounter, the blood of the alien that got unto him gave him similar abilities to the Alpha creature, one of which is to reset time. Cage is taken by Rita to see Carter, an intelligent military researcher. He does his best to explain how the Mimics carry out their operations. The Alphas have the ability to reset time and so they are always at an advantage against their enemies. He then informs them about a very powerful but hidden mimic known as the Omega, a female alien that controls the operations of the male mimics. With a device he has created, he is confident that the Omega can be located and destroyed if this device is planted on the body of an Alpha. Since Cage has the abilities of the mimics, he is in the best position to figure out how to overcome these unwanted visitors. Rita chooses to prepare him to battle the creatures. However, this doesn't go so well initially as Cage ends up with multiple fractures and Rita wastes no time in shooting him on different occasions so he can restart the preparation. She also advises him to be sure to die properly on each occasion so he doesn't get a blood transfusion as this takes away his ability to reset the time and remain in the loop. Good thing Rita is not a psychiatrist. As his preparation continues, he is able to share a connection with the creature and also begins to have visions that point to the possible location of the dreaded Omega. During the next battle, the duo tries as much as possible to stay alive and to get away from the beach where they usually land. Unfortunately, Rita somehow always ends up dead. Cage is now frustrated and decides to skip town to London as he believes that this might put an end to the time loop. While in London, the mimics attack the city and he is mortally injured. So the time loop resumes. There is no getting away from this one cage. On a positive note though, his training begins to pay off as he gets better at fighting the mimics to the admiration of his fellow soldiers. Finally, in one of the loops, they get off the beach and drive off in a truck. However, a mimic emerges and Cage shoots it. Soon they run out of gas and are forced to stop at a farmhouse. Cage's battery in the exoskeleton is out so he takes it off. The duo comes across a helicopter and when Rita attempts to fly it, she finds the keys are nowhere to be found. It turns out that Cage has hidden the key because he knows that she would be attacked by the mimics if she tries to fly the chopper. When he explains this to her, she is upset with him and insists on flying. Again, the mimics come for them, and without a functional exoskeleton suit, they are both defeated. This time when Cage awakens, he chooses to go alone to the area in Germany that he had seen in his vision. He is certain that the female mimic is there. He figures out how to get there, but again, the mimics come for him. The bizarre thing is, they do not seem keen on taking his life outrightly. Instead, they seem to be interested in making him lose much blood. Cage realizes that they want him to get a blood transfusion and break the time loop, so he decides to heed Rita's advice and drowns himself instead. This time Cage returns with better knowledge about the operations of the mimics. He tells Carter and Rita that the visions about the Omega are false and manipulated by the aliens. The only way to find the Omega would be to use Carter's device. However, there is a problem with that. It turns out that Brigham has confiscated some vital components of the device. Rita and Cage decide to visit the General and they succeed in convincing him to release the components to them. As they drive away, Cage stabs himself in the leg with the device and merges his mind with the mimics. This time he sees the exact location of the Omega. Unfortunately, a soldier in an exoskeleton rams into the car. Cage wakes up in a hospital and discovers to his disappointment that he is being transfused with blood. This means that his ability to remain in the loop is broken and he won't return if the mimics attack him this time around. Rita comes around and after explaining to her that his ability is gone, they both escape from the hospital. Cage goes to the J-Squad who now respects him and gets them to join him on the quest to eliminate the Omega. As the team flies, they are attacked by the Mimics who must now be aware that Cage is after the Omega. Most of their teammates are lost in this assault and the rest are soundly defeated afterward. Rita and Cage survive, and he decides to swim toward the Omega to eliminate her. The Alphas ferociously pursue him and Rita allows herself to be attacked to buy him some time. After finishing Rita off, the Alpha continues to pursue Cage and stabs him with its spike. However, Cage drops an entire grenade belt into the Omega, blowing it to bits. This leads to the destruction of all the Alphas. With their blood freely flowing in the water, Cage is touched by it again and this time he wakes up on the helicopter taking him to London. 
On the news, it is revealed that the mimics have been successfully eliminated following mysterious bomb blasts in the city. He finds the J-Squad all alive and goes to look for Rita. When he walks into the room where she trains, she rudely asks what he wants. Cage is overwhelmed with emotion and simply smiles as he now knows that the worst is over even if his partner is still as feisty as ever, he is glad to see her alive. This brilliant film delves deeply into science, time travel, and everything else. It also sends a powerful message, you don't have to fail or give up because you're inexperienced. If you simply insist and persevere, you will always win. Thanks for watching.